Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another garden video. So today we are in Mom's backyard garden. We're working, we're working on all the gardens, but we're working on this one a little bit more this year, including her gazebo. So a couple years ago, she collected all these bricks yes. for her brick patio from a uh, community building that fell down a couple blocks over. And my brother helped her create this patio. And then a friend gifted her this iron metal. It's not iron, but it's metal. Yeah. It's it's a gazebo, but it's like the shell of a gazebo. Yeah, the top was all messed up. It was, yeah. it was fabric. And so we're, we're probably going to put some shade cloth up there eventually, mm -hmm. but we've been working on growing something up it for four or five years now? Uh, about three, maybe. I think Two it's been more like five. Either way, <laughs> she wanted to put some clematis growing up it and we bought a whole bunch of them on clearance at the end of the season from Walmart. Somewhere. Yeah, I think it was Walmart. Walmart. It was Walmart. And they weren't the best plants, but they were a very, very good price. And yeah. we figured they were good enough, we'd try them. And this year, for the first time, she actually has a couple blooms. Right. But because the, the frame is so open, they never want to grow past the bottom section. Yeah. Um, and, and this is the first year they've even bloomed. So we think eventually we're going to have to put some string or twine up a little higher to get the... Come on, girl. Oh, Betty's teasing them. My dog is just standing in front of mom's dog saying, hi girls. I'm outside and you're inside. Betty, come here. Little, come on. Hey, stop. Regardless, we will eventually put some twine, but we thought this year I wanted to grow some ruby hyacinth bean for the two trellises I have in my swallowtail butterfly planter. And I watch uh, Janie's channel over at Dig, Plant, Water, Repeat, and she has grown them up her pergola for years. And one, uh, one bean or two beans will cover her entire uh, side of her support, pergola yeah. support and up to the pergola. And so since I was already growing them for my trellises, we decided to grow some more for mom. Yeah. And they are, if you saw my milk jug video where we we updated you on all the milk jugs that we grew and I planted everything out in my garden, uh, the hyacinth beans were looking a little like they needed to be planted ASAP. And that was three days ago. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to plant moms opposite the clematis. We're going to see if that gives her a fuller more covered gazebo this year yes. if we haven't killed them yes. in the meantime. Exactly. Let's get started. All right, y'all. So here is our first support and you can see mom's glorious iris blooming and y'all can't even see there is a third bloom down below. I will give you, give you a good look at it, but I wanted to get it in the frame because it's... And two more. Oh, it's just... It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yes. We love it. It's the first year it's blown. Yes. So we're going to go ahead. She ended up having seven uh, hyacinth beans to plant. Yep. So we're going to do the best one right here in the sun since they like the sun. And then we're going to do two on each of the other four supports. Yep. Hopefully that means we will get at least four viable beans to start growing. Yep. So which side do you want it on? I think this side. Okay. Because it has... A little bit more. Okay. Did that bring my little. Oh, give me the thing and I'm going to show them up close in the milk jug. Okay. So here's the best one. And that, that is a nice plant. Yes, it is. So we will show you the others as well, but that's definitely the nice, nicest one. I'm going to put some in there. Now to take it out. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way underneath it and we're gonna get all the roots. We're gonna cut them like this and then we will plant the whole thing, roots and all. I'm gonna give it to mom okay, and she'll be able to plant it because I can't bend over like that. 
Okay. From back here, anyways. Yeah, I got, it. I got it. Okay, there we go. And now we will water that in. And once it starts growing, we will start attaching it to the gazebo. Once it's on the gazebo, it will start to climb. But I think at least for that guy, we just need to wrap a, a twine around the support. Around. And attach it, to here. And attach it up. The yeah. clematis, I think we need to go like back and forth across the big opening on this side. Maybe. On, on this side. We'll figure that out another day. For now, okay. we're going to go right to the other side of the big iris. Whoop. Let me move y'all. Trying not to step on anything. I know. She's got some pastas and things coming up in there. And weeds. Well, we're still weeding before composting and mulching, y'all. So give us a little grace, okay? I've been weeding in the front yard. I haven't yes. started in the backyard yet. And i got to blow all these leaves out. There we go. So, that is always a chore. Yeah, it's fun, fun, fun. And it's, it's a fun one because you can, you can ask a, a friend brother or boyfriend to help blow leaves they typically like to oh yeah any kind of uh power tool, power tool of any kind but they're more likely to step on the precious plants than we are so that is a 50 50 shot of worth yeah. it or not yeah exactly okay all right so here and here well i don't know maybe over here you want them both on that side? One here and one here. I thought the whole point was to do it on either side of the leg. There's no water on that side. But the water's right there. You can just run a thing in between oh, the okay. two of them. Okay, that's a good idea. I, didn't, I don't know. My brain wasn't working. All right, so you're going to have to do that side because I can't quite get it. Can't quite reach. All right, milk jug me so I can show them the beans. Okay. Now, these two are kind of, that one's kind of pitiful. All right, so this is the worst one. I literally tried to throw it, the whole milk jug it was in. I was going to dump it in my raised beds for dirt, but it had it, oh, it had enough roots that it was still connected to that I tossed it in this milk jug. The other one looks better. So right here, these leaves still look good. These leaves still look okay. So we're just going to put them in. Put the bad one on, on this side since you're not in love with it on this side. Okay, I gotta get closer to it. That looks like it's gonna rain, which honestly would be great for everything we've been planting. It was supposed to rain on we uh, Wednesday and Thursday since those are the days you said you could help me put up my landscape fabric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I looked at the weather and I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I came over to help you, but I, I seem to just a be watching you. Root in it. Yeah, they had some good roots. So I'm, I'm hoping. And these are plants from Johnny Seed, which they typically have very good roots, even when grown in the, in the milk jugs. I am always okay. very impressed when I plant the plants from, you know, like the Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart seeds in these, how shallow the roots are. And then if I plant something from Johnny's seeds, they have abundant roots. And this isn't a ad for Johnny's seeds in any way. I paid for all the seeds myself. Hey, you were supposed to pay me back for some of those. I think that's a jip. I paid for all the seeds. I did most of the work. And somehow, I came over and helped you. You helped me plant them. I watered them for months. And you still got half the goods. <laughs> all right, so this is the other side of the arbor. It is a little shadier. We're going to do two on either side here. And, uh, and we'll see how they grow. What were you saying? These are my pitiful delphiniums that I planted. <laughs> she got from, these for 50% off. From the sale rack. So we'll see. See if they live. How they make Or it. if they bloom. So far, 
they're alive. That's about all we can say. Okay. All right. That goes in the fountain. That's the plug. Ooh, I hit the tripod. Sorry, y'all. Okay, here we go. Take a one on each side here. All right, you got the drill. Oh, you're on your Black Eyed Susan with your right knee, so just watch it. And your lily's right behind your right foot. So, yeah. Okay. I got you. Mom is not as good with the auger. She can do it though. Is the battery dead? No, he just, no, it was just caught. Something right there. I don't know what though. Probably a brick, Mom. Right. The way you're so. doing it. All right, put some sh some food in. Good job. I know. Got the one. I have one there. bloom. And I'm trying to kill it. Mm. Can I it? Okay. Ooh, I got to put more plant food in there. All right, where's my bucket? Bucket, ma'am. Oh, this is so pitiful. I'll put the best one in the front. Okay. I don't even know which one is the best. <laughs> Oh, it looks so bad. Yeah, that's why I said we needed to plant them on Friday. But somebody wanted to go to Bunko. Uh, it is what it is. I know. Okay. Okay. I've got really good roots in here. Yeah. I had a hard time getting them out. Getting out I mean, you, that's them. almost all the dirt from the whole container. Yep. That's why that one that looked dead when the roots were still attached, I just figured well, give it a try. I'll pop it in the other bucket and maybe with some water, it'll come back to life. All right, here we, I gotta get over to the other side now. I was just on, on uh, No, right there. Right where? Between your left knee and your left hand is a little black eyed Susan that you used as a nailing pad. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to turn it It's the littlest one. So when I stepped on yesterday when we were planting the delphiniums. Oh, well, there you go. That's what did it. <laughs> you stepping on it. Come on. Admit it. Look, lady, I admit no defeat. I've done nothing wrong. Where the exact the hose is down here. Okay, here we go. You gonna turn it around or no? It's watching you. Okay. Other way, click it the other way. I'm trying to. It's not that hard to click. You know, I bet all of your fun swamp water in this bird bath in that bucket is why you have so many mosquitoes back here. Could be. Yeah. Okay, there we go. These ones don't look too bad. We'll see which ones do better then. It'll be a little contest. Biddy, go play. Do not bark at me. Barking? She is. Know. She's barking at me. She's barking quietly. And she's barking at me. Don't hear anything. Well, you're deaf, but that doesn't mean she's not doing it. Okay, there we go. Coco and Freya are playing. Oh, they do. They love to play. I know. It's they so such fun. They just Mother look like Claire. twins. Okay. Up close, you can tell Freya's brindle, but from this far, they just look like twins. I know. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, I'm going to give y'all a close-up look. Let's let mom get up. 
and out of the black eyed Susan patch. That's the hard part is getting up. Yeah, told you you could have let me plan them, but no. Mom likes to do her own work. Yeah. She just likes me to come supervise, I guess. Yeah, you you're it's helpful for me to hand her things, honestly, yeah. so she doesn't have to get up and down. I'm her feet. She's the hands. Yes. Yes. All right, feet, get out. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. All right, y'all. One, two, medium alive beans. Three medium alive beans and a dead one. Then across... From the shady patio, we have, whew, here, remember, working on all the leaves. All right, Mama said I was filming this. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm watering stuff we planted. I know, but I, I asked you to let me film first. All right, we have another not that alive bean and a pretty alive one right there. And, on the other side of the glorious, most beautiful iris on the lot, we have the best bean. The bean to bean all beans. The bean queen. Beanie McQueen. All right, mom, are you happy with your beans? Absolutely. Hey, I came over here with beans for you beans. and help. Don't spray me. Yeah. All right, on the other side of the swamp bucket is the pretty Clematis and her pretty Clematis sister. They're beautiful blooms, and if they... I mean, even if they just do this, they're still pretty, but they obviously need a little more help climbing. But I mean, you have vines. I know. Like if you give them something to climb up, yeah, I, think you're right. I think they will do better. I think I need to go from up there to down. Yeah, I think you need to wrap around and then you might need to go back and forth across to really get them all the way to the top. But as we, did we ever buy the shade cloth for the top? I have it. It's in there. So we're going to do some panels up top and then her solar lights, only solar sometimes. They've been up for a long time. Yeah, I need some more. You need, and I know they're solar, but don't they have batteries in them? Yeah. So they might need new batteries. That might be. That's but awesome. on the other side... You had a bloom. I had a white bloom over there. But a white one um, here. Yeah, and so I, white I was going to say this side is white. I, I think, you know, they're, they're working and they're blooming, but they're just not flourishing. Surviving no. and thriving are not the same things. No, it is not. So hopefully the hyacinth bean will thrive and maybe with a little more trellising, the clematis will improve mm -hmm. uh, especially because the clematis is a perennial as opposed to the hyacinth bean which is an annual but it does drop seeds, say it seeds doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. and we can save seeds as well if we want to keep planting them so okay. cool. there you go what do you think mom are you happy yeah i think you know what anything anything i think at perfect. least one of them will live mm -hmm. and if all if you get one on all four it'd be best but you'll get at least something to grow up here this mm -hmm. summer mm -hmm. that's the goal so keep, keep tuned. We will do a garden tour back here. Once the leaves are blown out and the compost and mulch is put in, we're not going to film all of that, but you'll see the, uh, you'll see the end after effects of all the hard work, not the hard work over here. Yes. I, I film all the composting at my house because I'm a glutton for punishment. Obviously. All right. Say bye, mom. Bye, mom.